Phew. I thought I'd never make it. You're making a big mistake, lady. We were meant for each other. Just shut up, you! I'm not gonna listen to your lies anymore, do you hear me? Hello, officers. Could you tell me where I might find Lieutenant Kellaway? Second floor, room 217. No, sir, you're going right where you belong. <laughs> ah, there it is. I don't give a damn if he hasn't got any prior arrests. This psychotic SOB is not getting any bail if I can stop it. Easy, Lieutenant. If you don't cease this manhandling immediately, I should be forced to file a complaint. As for my client's bail, I think we'll let the reigning George decide that. Bonneville, if I ever catch you so much as jaywalking, I'll put you away for life. It's all right, Lionel. I'm not going to run after them. What the hell can I do with one arm? Your problem is you get too damned involved. I could understand with that big-headed guy, but Repaz is just another scumbag dealer. Not true, pal, not true. You weren't with me when I started my file on Repaz. Only reason he's in on trafficking and possession is because nothing else would stick. Lieutenant? Huh? Uh, hi there. Remember me? I'm Kathy. Sure, sure. I'm sorry about your boyfriend. Oh, it was a shock, but we had just broken up. I guess I'm over it now. Please, come into my office. Have a seat. I'm heading down to Donut Fear. You want anything? No, thanks. Donut Fear? Yeah, that's the sergeant's idea of a joke. The place is called Donut Fair. It's not very good. But you didn't come here for humor. How can I help you? Well, I hope you won't be angry for not coming to you earlier. But I think you may find the answers to a lot of questions in this bag. That must be some bag. It looks like you brought me the wrong bag. The only thing in here is one big question. Such as, what the hell is this thing? That's your criminal. The cause of all your problems with that... that guy you chased all over town last month. What? I know it sounds crazy, but if you were to put that mask on, you'd see what I mean. Well, that certainly was a wild case. Maybe I will try it on. No! Don't put it on! Don't ever put it on! What? But you said... Look, this whole ordeal has obviously been more of a strain than you thought. After you've gotten some sleep, give me a call, and we can discuss this more rationally. You're right. I haven't slept in days, but I should be able to now. I'll call you tomorrow. No hurry. Here, don't forget this. Oh, no! I don't ever want to see that thing again. It's the police department's responsibility now. Do you hear me? I won't take it back. Okay, okay. And remember... Whatever you do, don't let anybody wear that thing. You got it. Late that evening. You are going home tonight, aren't you? Sure, sure. Hold your horses. I've been meaning to ask. What's that? Oh, that lady who was here earlier forced it on me. Said it was important. She was pretty upset, so I played along. You're not going to leave it there, are you? Why the hell not? Well, what if the captain sees it? You try explaining to him why evidence isn't properly filed. You know how he's been riding us these past few weeks. It might look bad. All right already. I'll take it home and put it under my pillow. Happy? Why did I ever become a cop? I haven't been so frustrated since I was going through puberty. It's not scumbag lawyers legally obstructing justice. It's a hard-nosed captain out to nail me for not making an arrest in the Big Head case. would have liked to have seen him handle that super sicko. Home sweet home. And as for you, I'll bet you belong to that poor girl's boyfriend. Probably scared her to have you around. Death does that to folks. Scares them, I mean. Especially murder. Well, enough chit-chat, friend. Time for dinner. Tuna salad always tastes best after a couple days in the fridge. What'd she say again? Don't ever put it on? She was obviously distraught. Holy Toledo! The little lady was right! Would you look at that? My arm's all better! Boy, it's a miracle! <laughs> That's me! Hi there. If I'm not mistaken, there are some distinct advantages to this guy's. Well, here goes nothing. Hot damn!
damn, I didn't feel a thing. That is fun, but let's give this a real test. Gee, but this doesn't work, won't well, I feel stupid? Much better. Where a rip! Oh! This is great! Unbelievable, but great! The captain will flip when he sees this! Wait a minute. What am I talking about? Screw the captain! I got some police business to attend to. Stop looking at your watch. I'm quite aware that he's late. But keep in mind, he's a very busy man. We're quite lucky he will see us at all. I have to see someone at 11 o'clock. He will be here before then? Probably. Sorry to be so late, David, but today was crazy. Not to worry. Stephen Lister, this is Eugene Rapaz. Ah, Mr. Rapaz. Nice to meet you. As it is to meet you. As you can see, I got Mr. Rapaz released on reasonable bail. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think you could manage that much on your own. But of course, there are other problems. The police took Mr. Rapaz in on this trafficking charge to get him off the streets for a while. It's my understanding they believe this will make their informants less intimidated by my client, Mar willing to talk, even testify. Frankly, this strategy could work, so I am, let's say, motivated to seek an early release for my client. How motivated? Even if they can't collect enough evidence for further charges, the trafficking charge might stick. Mm, unless, that is, you intervene. I see. I see. Well, of course, I can't make you any guarantees, but I'll see what I can do. Mm, that is all I ask. Thanks again, Stephen. Now let's order some food, eh? And have anything you want, gentlemen. Dinner's on me. <laughs> 